I always want to encourage my clients to meditate, and it's not easy. It's not easy because the mind has too many distractions. And for me, it's easy because I've been doing it since I was 18. So this is going to be a 15 minutes meditation. And if you start doing this every day, every morning, every evening, you will see that it will change your life. And not only that, then you can increase the time of your meditation to 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and 30 minutes is ideal. There is something very important, which is the posture. The spine, the spine has to be straight, straight. And in order to do that, we put the hands on the junction of the, the thighs and the abdomen. And we move the shoulders back and, and then we relax. From there, we tense our whole body from head to toes three times and relax. Then we put our attention on the spiritual light. We lift our eyes gently without forcing and we look at like a, if we are looking at an object two, three inches from the forehead and then we close the eyelids. This is extremely important to have our attention on the spiritual light because when the eyes are at the horizontal level, we are in the conscious state. When the eyes are down, it's the subconscious state and we tend to fall asleep. When the eyes are lifted to the spiritual light, we are trying to connect to the super consciousness and we have less thoughts. <clears throat> And always begin with a prayer. Paramahansa Yogananda says, and it's true, I can attest that, meditation, pranayamas, which is what we are going to do now, coupled with devotion is the easiest way to reach God. When we pray, the back of our hand is in the middle of the chest, our heart chakra. And this is not a coincidence. We are really touching the, the heart chakra. I will do a general prayer and you choose whatever you feel comfortable with you. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, friend, beloved God, saints of all religions, we bow to you all. We come to thee to sit at thy feet of omnipresence, to thank you to thank thee for thy blessings, thy protection, thy guidance, thy help, and to offer thee all the love of our heart. And we say the prayer like we mean it. Also remember, when we meditate, we do it with reverence and devotion. Reverence because we are literally connecting with the Spirit through this energy and consciousness. And devotion because love is the most powerful energy to bring God and this beautiful connection in our lives. We put our hands on the junction of the abdomen, the thighs and the abdomen, and with attention on the spiritual light during the whole meditation. We take a deep breath and exhale, and after we exhale, we let the air out until the breath resumes by itself, without forcing. <sighs> this relax the internal organs. And now we are going to be aware of our breath. Just be aware. With attention on the spiritual eye, we are conscious of our breath. We observe how the lungs expand with the inhalation 
and contract with exhalation. That's all we are doing. Observing the breath, being aware of our breath. It is like uh, we are intently, with intention, looking at the spiritual eye. While we are aware of our breath. Now, always with the attention on the spiritual eye, we are going to add the mental repetition. When we inhale, we mentally say, Thou art in me. And that means we are talking about the manifestation of the spirit as a prana, as an energy that is in the air, especially in the oxygen that we breathe. When we inhale, we are incorporating that energy into our lungs and our whole body, not just our physical body, but our, our astral or energy body too. That's what it means, thou are in me. And when we exhale, we mentally say, I am in thee. We exhale and mentally say, thou are in me. And when the exhalation comes, Naturally, without forcing, I am in thee. In all these breathing and meditation techniques, we never force the breath. We just observe and accommodate the mental repetition to the natural flow of the breath. These two breathing exercises help to calm the breathing. When the breath comes down, the heart comes down, and the mind follows the heart. 
is the breath are calm, is calm, the heart is calm, the brain, the mind calms down. Now we relax our attention. We are going to practice a pranayama, which is one of the meditations that we practice in Reiki. And we visualize that the spine with all the chakras, our astral spine is a tube of energy from the coccyx, the root chakra, all the way up to the medulla oblongata, at the back of the, 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 the neck, and going up through the brain and through the crown chakra on the top of the head. Again, without forcing the breath, letting the breath follow naturally, we are going to visualize that there is a bright light of energy entering the top of our head during the inhalation, and that bright light of energy goes down the head, through the brain, down the spine, through all the chakras, and is accumulated on the second chakra. And we keep breathing until the breath starts naturally, and we visualize that there is a, a sphere of light that we are feeding, we are accumulating, concentrating during the inhalation. In the fraction of a second between the inhalation and exhalation, we are going to transfer that energy accumulated on the second chakra to all the cells of our body. And we are going to visualize that our whole body is full of light and energy. That light is energy. And when the exhalation come, comes, we exhale that energy through all the pores of our body in all directions towards the infinite. Again, I explain one more time, when we inhale, the energy enters through the top of our head, the crown chakra, goes down the head, down the spine, and is accumulated on the second chakra. When the inhalation ends, we transfer that energy to our whole body, and when the exhalation comes, we exhale that energy accumulated in all the cells of our bodies, through all the pores of our body, of our skin, towards the infinite, in all directions towards the infinite. Let's practice. And the attention is always on the, the, the we have to have the eyes lifted to the spiritual eye. If you want, you can do a breathing without doing the technique, just to be aware of the short space between inhalation and exhalation. And at that time is when we transfer the energy from the second chakra to our whole body. And then do the technique.
relax the mind and after practicing the techniques when the mind is calm comes the real meditation which is simply to put our attention and intently look at the spiritual life without doing anything so just put your attention your whole attention on the spiritual life for a few minutes Let's relax the mind, and this is the moment when we can pray to ask for anything we need, physical health, mental, emotional, or spiritual health. And then let's do a prayer and also remember when we meditate, we do it with reverence and devotion. Reverence because we are literally connecting with the spirit through this energy and consciousness. And devotion because love is the most powerful energy to bring God and this beautiful connection in our lives. <clears throat> May thy love shine forever in the sanctuary of my devotion. May I be able to awaken thy love in all hearts. Om, peace, Amen. Mm -hmm.